This is an All Sports Station production. Hey everybody, it's the Coats. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Name for the legendary coach and co-founder of the Bengals, here's a good look at Paul Brown Stadium on the riverfront in Cincinnati. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd. And they're all set as they'll match up with the New York Giants. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted. They expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather, and we are underway from Cincinnati. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Okay, baby, so here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Here's the offense, and we give you too much power here. We let you highlight the player. Why'd you choose Zeitler? Because I think the big guys up front never get enough credit. Kevin Zeitler, a guard, tough, nasty. We've got to give him some love. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley, and he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way, and that, to me, that was a combination of Offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it, okay? They got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, on, six, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. Jones now throwing on first down. It's hauled in by Shepard. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. Got it. 
So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 34. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Here's Jones operating from the gun. And Tate's got it. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now... I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past 70, people right 80. now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Jones on first and 10. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. That'll bring up second down. Finally an incompletion. He was 5 of 5 before that last throw to start this game. So he is human. All right, so we found out after the way he began. Okay, he can have an incompletion here or there. But I love what they've done right from the word go. They just need to pay it off for the touchdown now. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing Jones. This is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up golden opportunity. Strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Ooh, interesting. Time to find out. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Again, he'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there. And they think those numbers are going to increase. So second and goal and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He lost two there, and it's third down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Go, Line of go. scrimmage at the Head four. Up. Here's third and goal. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Jones. Tate bringing it in for the giant touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, 
the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say easy right work. off the top, he's got great footwork. Again. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Here now the offense for the Bengals. Out of the backfield is Joe Mixon, and he was a valuable commodity coming out of the University of Oklahoma because of his ability to be so versatile. Can run it inside with power, gets to the perimeter and can outrun people, catches the ball not only out of the backfield, but you can split him out just like he would be a receiver. And I think if he wanted to dedicate himself, he'd be an all-pro kick returner. Now Joe Mixon. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. And the defense for New York. Leonard Williams was one of the top draft picks coming out of USC. And he's done nothing to diminish the comparisons people make of past greats. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Looking to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep, Golden Tate. Fifty-one yards on the punt there. And it'll be giant football first and ten. The New York set to take the field. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 22, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Jones from the gun on third down. That's complete to Slayton. On, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. 
Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Saquon Barkley, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Ready, ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Ready, ready. They'll run with Barkley. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Down, 50, plant. 54. There you go. Who's talking about it? And bring it. Now. From the gun on third down, Jones. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So possession one ended in six. Possession two likely going to end in a punt. Yeah, that's okay. They just got to get back to what they worked on in the opening drive and continue to make a few adjustments along the way. It won't be exact because the defense will make a few adjustments themselves. Just get back to your game plan. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And that opportunity. Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Second and 11. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a Bengal first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. It's a pickup of five. Brings up second down. Second down, here's Mixon. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. They'll look to throw. He's got his man, Boyd. And he's got the first down go, yardage as he brings this up to the 47. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well oh, run. Yeah. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. 
Back to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Second and 15. He completes it to Boyd. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And New York set to take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion put people away. They want to run their offense go, and have go. it end up in the end zone. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Jones finds his tight end Ingram. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the run, it's Barkley. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On second down, here's Barkley. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. The Giants on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. Jones now. From the gun, he'll throw. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for New York. That's it, baby. We're going to work. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't turn it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance. 
because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover and wow now we gotta go out there and stop people so yeah there's always something positive to be gained from it From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. They'll set up to throw. He finds his running back, Nixon. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. On the run, it's Mixon, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And the Bengals on third down. Just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him six yards in the first down. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Leonard Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And New York set to take the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. That throw good for four. It's second down. Oh, 
On the right. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Second and six. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. First by him near the 35. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. It let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Jones now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. This is Barkley. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Ready, ready. 60 or. You ain't doing nothing. On second and seven, Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. A gain of four on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. The Giants on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. Here it's third and three. Looking to throw, Jones, and he finds Penny, and he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. On the set. Jones heading up here first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A loss of two there, second down. He had to give big time credit to the cornerback on that play. Most of them like to just sit back and say, I'm playing pass. But he diagnosed that play so fast and got into the backfield for a loss of yardage. That's a monster play by a corner. Down, 60 Pittsburgh. It's on field. It's on field. On second and 12, Jones, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The Giants on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third down and 12. From the gun, Jones. Open man right side is Ingram. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league, those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Jones heading up here first and 10, and he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Now it's Barkley. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Here 
we go, here we go. It's a 60 pitch for Here's Jones on first down. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Jones operating from the gun. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And, partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Extra point attempt to follow here. And it's good to make it 14-0. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and six. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. But I think a Bengal player was able to get in there, he was. And they'll keep possession of the football. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Well, you know what they say about the best laid plans, partner. <laughs> I mean, this one was totally foiled. They played for the pass. The idea was if you want to run it, that's fine. We'll rally up and make the tackle. Except they didn't get it done. <laughs> yeah, it's third and long and a big run there. How about that? Ready, ready. The mic. 50 seconds, the mic. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll drop the throw. He gets this one to Boyd. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. On second down now, Barkley. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. 
Second down and inches. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that is going to set up a third and one. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. On third down, Nixon. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. He gets this one to Boyd. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. This quarterback now, 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Play clock all the way to zero. Didn't get the snap off. Five-yard penalty. And you see the head coach writing that note on his play sheet right now. He's going to be addressing that with his staff. A sense of urgency. Get to the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. They'll set up a throw. And his throw here is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They're going to look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Giants offense now, getting set to start the third quarter. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, ready, ready. not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room, because here's what I think happened. They got in there, and they said, listen, 
Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense. Yeah. We've got, de we got, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Jones operating from the gun. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DJ Reader breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. Come on, set, 18, Gator. Throwing on third and long, Jones. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Mix it. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. A draw play for Mixon. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first Go half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. C.J. Uzama there to make the grab as his guys are back within a single score. 
And I think I saw that right. You tell me if I'm wrong. That was just a fly route, just a go. He went. Sometimes speed, just pure speed, is going to win. I don't care how athletic you are on the other side of the ball, when a guy's that fast and he can just take off, if a quarterback has time to throw the ball and release it when he wants to, that's the end result. Nothing you could do about that. He was just a better athlete on that play. Bullet good on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit right. more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? Go. Here we go. I think you are. Here we go. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. On, After set. the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Now. Off play action. Jones. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. All day, dog. What twist? Barkley. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Flag comes out, and that's because the offense did not get the playoff in time. And you can see the head coach, he is not happy. Everyone getting away from him right now because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. Set, ready? 60 out, law. 55. Let's go, D. Jones looking to throw on second down. He completes it to Tate. That one good for 26 and a first down.
Here we go. Set. Ten Lobo. Check back. Check back. Shoot. A first down carry for Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Now for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to The drive summary that time, five plays. And the rookie, Saquon Barkley, the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty Whoa. solid. 15, Ronnie. 15, Ronnie. Ready to go. Snap. Again, it's Mixon. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Mixon. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Jet sweep here. This is Ross with it. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. On play action, they'll throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Oh, Shane Zeminis in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. 
What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw here. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Well, they dialed up the screen there, hoping that convoy of blockers could get out in front and get them enough yardage for the first down. But they were able to get there before he got to the sticks. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Brandy, never quite sure what the side judge or the field judge is going to rule there. That was awfully close, but in the end... He says it passed over the one-yard line, and that's where they're going to mark it out. I mean, you can see it right there, right? See him walking up the sideline? Told him to stop right there at the one. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be yeah. tough defensively. 70, Indy. Bandit. Bandit. And now we're going to get a delay of game. And that's going to back him up halfway. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And they'll get him down up past the 15. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Making the play defensively, Carl Lawson. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On second down, Barkley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Jones now, off play action, and Ingram holds it in. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. 
Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Jones now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Back to throw, Jones. He completes it to Tate, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. Off the play fake, Jones. And this is Shepard on the catch. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Let's go now. 60 out, Laura. Here we go. Play it. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting... And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Point after try, forthcoming. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 33 yards that time. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He'll look to throw. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. On the ready. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Let's go. Shoot. This is Mixon on the draw. And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Let's go now. 10-2, sir. 54. Hey, let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. Two. They're going to look to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Leonard Williams, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. They'll set up a throw. Open man is Uzama. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35.
The New York set to take the field. Now that turnover might just about do it here. Fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. A couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Throwing on first down, Jones. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Down. 10-2 stop. Don't get nervous. It's a go. On second down now, Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Giants on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third down and 12. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for New York. And that one hits a little too close to the goal go. line, and it continues Here into the end zone for a touchback. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They're going to look to throw. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. That throw good for four. It's second down. They're giving those short little routes. Tackled him in bounds, too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards that time, and a Cincinnati first down. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. They'll drop the throw. They'll set up the screen here to mix him. And some room to work. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say... He has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Let's go. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 32 yard line. He'll look to throw. Open man is Ross complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. The 
And this will probably be the final play before the two minute warning. They'll drop to throw. He's got green. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. On the Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Here we go, T. Here I come. Go. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Leonard Williams, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Cheetah, All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now back to throw. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Don't get nervous now. They'll run it again with Barkley. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Third down, Barkley, and he is going to lose yardage here. Right there. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.